Hey everybody, it's Brian and this is Homebrew Wednesday number two for me. So, kind of a virgin, not anymore, popped my cherry last week. Anyway, on with the show. Um, things going on this week. One, I want to thank all those people that are uh, starting to watch my videos. Feels really good to see people looking at the videos and seeing what what I've been doing. If there's anything different than what's going on out in the out in the world right now with those doing doing uh, homebrew Wednesdays, um, right now the only thing going in the in the brews, any brews going on right now is I have uh, Pinot Grigio that is going to be racked over, if not tonight, probably tomorrow, and I'll go ahead and get that in the six and a half gallon glass carboy and let that go for another two weeks and then uh, then after that we start to uh, getting ready to do some degassing and let it set again so from a brewing standpoint that's all I got going right now um, probably by the end of the month I'll probably do another extract brew because it's uh, fast and it's not as expensive as doing some of the all grains that uh, I've been doing so I'll be doing that um, things going on with me right now is, uh, I'm doing some projects on the house. I refurnished, not refurnished, I redid the whole upstairs of my home a few years ago. And, uh, right now I'm working on the basement part. We've taken out walls and, uh, drop ceiling that we had and, uh, reconfigured the walls so we have different rooms and right now I'm doing drywall and all that all that crazy stuff mudding and taping and texturizing and painting and so I got my I'm up to my neck and in, in work around the house that's just inside outside's another matter uh, working on that as things come up um, from back to uh, brewing and stuff um, I have a good friend of mine that uh, gave me a 15 and a half gallon uh, beer keg. So I'm going to convert into a keg. I'll probably make it into an HLT since I already have, until I get another one, then I'll make a boil pot. I already have my mash tun. So I'm going to start screwing around with uh, the electric, doing an electric uh, system if I can um, and get away from the propane burners if at all possible. We'll see if I can do that with the, uh, with the uh, voltage I have in the house, so you know, 110. So let's see if we can do it. I know Home, De Home Depot has, um, they have the el the heating elements for about 10 bucks a piece. I'm wondering if you just get what you pay for when it comes to those. But um, I wanna go ahead and uh, get the top of the keg cut off and uh, get the holes drilled for, um, for the ball valve and for the uh, the element itself and, and possibly a thermostat when it comes time. So that's going to be a project. It's going to be coming up. It's going to be down the road a little bit. But um, another thing that's going on, my next thing that I, I want to get completed is, is I want to get away from bottling as much as I can. I actually enjoyed it at the beginning. Um, I, st I still don't mind it. It's just it's very time consuming with everything I, I have going on, and just being able to rack your beer over to a to a corny keg, you know, a ball lock keg, five gallon ball lock keg, and drinking from that, you know, don't have to sit there and sanitize all the bottles, you know, clean, sanitize, and cap and condition and all that. You can you can uh, really uh, gain some time. But just doing kegging, so I'm going to be getting into that. So I already got a CO2 tank that I got from my buddy. Uh, got that for free, which was nice. It's a five, five pound one, and it still has CO2 in it. He's the one that gave me the the keg. So he also gave me a six and a half gallon uh, glass carboy and a five gallon carboy. I've already added to that because now that I, I've been getting into the wines, my wife loves the wines as well. Uh, so that's going full force. So I've done uh, my second wine now. So we had uh, a California Trinity red wine that I did, and it turned out phenomenal. I mean, it's hard to screw a wine kit up. Um, the Pinot Grigio, my wife's not a big white wine drinker, but she's, she was smelling the uh, 
as it was going on the past couple of days as the fermentation slowed down just smelling the airlock you can you can smell the changes where it's not as sugary anymore and you can kind of smell what it's going to taste like and uh, she's pretty excited about it It'd be for her her and my daughter Rachel so um, other than that there's not much going on um, to be completely honest this is the second homebrew Wednesday number two video that I created I was gonna I was starting to post the one that I made last night but I caught myself doing something that I see a lot of uh, people saying is uh, taboo which is I was uh, actually tasting my own beer and being a critique at it and that's not up for me for my opinion I know it's good for me because it's my opinion but you know that's that's down the road when I start swapping beers with people you know if that happens and and start doing taste tests and stuff so right now um, things in the continuing with the uh, going to from bottle to keg um, trying to get a hold of the regulator um, discussing some you know on home homebrew talk a bit um, find the the best but the lowest cost regulator I don't want to spend a ton of money on it um, and then you know the hoses and stuff I you know I'll get a hold of all that stuff but uh, pretty much the regulators the the next purchase that I'm doing so other than that that's been my week and things that are going on from here forward projects that are happening uh, works busy um, as soon as I'm done with this video I'm gonna be back uh, working here in the basement putting some uh, drywall up on the ceiling I think I need to put some insulation up first before I can put any more I'm at that point where I've got all the insulation you know the drywall up over the insulation that's already there so I need to add more insulation and get that going other than that you all take care uh, thanks for tuning in homebrew Wednesday hey this is my Canadian blonde that I made it's a it's an extract I add a little bit of uh, Columbus at the beginning I was a little bitter but uh, it turned out actually good it mellowed out um, take care um, do everything I do and enjoy your homebrew Wednesday and I will see you online love you rock on